beautiful Capricorn psychic Debbie here hope you're having a great evening or day whenever you're watching this I want to give you some spiritual readings here so I work with crystal quartz I don't know if you can see them and they're basically connected to the chakras I also work with cards I'll just do one card from the Doreen virtue and also spirit every if anybody knows me I connect with spirit they are so powerful they just use me as a conduit Okay, so Capricorn, let's see what they're doing for you for October 2018. 2018, October. Let's see what the spiritual world wants to give you or what message they want to give you. I'm going to shake these up and I throw them into a grid that I created. And then I connect with spirit and see what they say. Okay, so don't mind me looking down. Um, they make my face, I don't know if people heard of that before but when you get into a connection it's like a, a web goes on your face and it makes you tickle sorry so don't mind me if I'm bending over I'm looking at the grid and I'm scratching my nose they're probably going this lady's weird <laughs> but Capricorn I love it that you're a master that you're a planner okay so in the grid wow prosperity October is prosperity month for you it was in the abundance part and it was way up on my grid so that to me is this is the month for opportunity for Capricorn for great prosperity so if you were kind of hemming and hawing and like mm, I don't know should I do that if it has to do with prosperity and you have faith in it not bringing the fear worry and doubt into it grab it grab it grab it grab it if it resonates with you I can't tell you what to do but the prosperity stone came through it's in the highest realm it was on the high it was on the abundance side and it was on the upper part and it was it, so it's pretty powerful for you if you're saying I have enough money or abundance of everything then it would say that you need to bring a lot more joy into your life I think the majority of you are gonna take the 90% of the abundance and the prosperity and it could be prosperity of love joy happiness and health you say you're like I'm in a health thing and I'm like oh god am I gonna get healthier yeah okay so a great abundance for October for Capricorn 2018 for you so um, connect to that connect to that have faith with that put affirmations out for it so that it can come to you you gotta allow it right it, the universe can bring it to you it's kind of like that saying you can bring the horse to water but if you don't drink it can't get you can't quench your thirst okay so abundance 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 whatever thought feeling or emotion came up for you with the abundance do that I'm not saying to go out and gamble and risk stuff I'm just saying I know that whatever resonates with you abundance wise it's it's a good month for you also on the abundance side was family it was in the middle sector so I don't feel like you need to worry so much about people you don't need to worry so much about the family they're okay you don't need to take care of them I get it that you're a master planner I get it that when you're a lot of Capricorns are healers um, a lot of Capricorns um, like to plan things out not only for themselves but for other people so I feel that your family is okay they're fine it's good you can step back and plan for yourself um, and not have to worry about them so much if you got a family member that is bringing a lot of drama it might be it, what I'm seeing because this was in the middle of everything that to me that's just kind of the calm do you know what I mean that they're gonna ride the river it's like you don't need to give them the attention you don't need to give them so much attention you can focus on yourself I mean if someone's crying out for help yeah but if you know that they're this dramatic you know oh all the time right limping out while they're walking out the door kind of thing like a Marie and everybody loves Raymond you know how she just kind of limps walking out the door um, you can stand back and go they're, they're fine they're fine and you can focus on yourself so I feel that you don't need to have so much fear worry and doubt about the family so maybe one of your kids is going for a trip or or is going um, you know they're visiting their dad or something and you're kind of worried about it I'm not seeing that you need to worry but I get it that there's thousands and millions of of you out there and um, that this is kind of just an outline all right 
excuse me, if you feel a little still, you're like, no, Debbie, I have the insight that I need to worry about it, then listen to your insight. Listen to your insight. Okay, so the next stone I got was rose quartz. It was in the love department. So if you're single, um, I don't know if you'll meet the, the person this month, if you're single looking for somebody, but you have a good chance of connecting with somebody. You have a really good chance. Not saying that maybe you uh, were online and that you guys are starting to communicate. I feel like this is the beginning of a communication. If you're single and you're looking for a partner, this would be a good month for baby step steps, especially if you've been in a, um, a relationship for a long time or you haven't been out there for a long time and you want to keep uh, make it slow. This month of October for you is good to start out slow. I don't see it where it's going to like rush up to you and you'll be like, ah, and I'm getting off the online, you know, or don't go to that party or something like that. I say go to the party or go to the church or if your friend wants to set you up, it could go slow. If the person is coming at to you and is like, I like you and I really like you and I want you to, um, no, they're not the person for you. It's not, it's going to be a slow, it's a slow thing with the love. Okay. Not saying that you can't connect, but it's, it's, to me, it's, they're showing, spirit is showing it to me in a slower form. Okay. Or slowly open up your heart and saying that you're starting to get ready. Be in that space. Okay. So the third eye is on the love department and it's low below. Again, I feel like it was by the, the love. Your third eye is open. It's, it's intuitive. It doesn't need to be open up bigger that you need to have this communication or you got to see things or you got to meditate really bad. And I, I don't, I don't see that. I feel that, um, even if you're with a partner, even if it's partner in business home, or you need to connect partner wise for a health issue, I feel that it, again, it's a slow moving thing for you. So say, um, slow slow to get healthy and slow to be healthy so I, I just feel like it's a slow month for you but it's in a good way it's not in a bad way it's in a good way um you're in you don't need your insight as much a lot of times when when spirit says you need your insight it's kind of like warn you know be careful or someone's trying to lie to you or someone's trying to take advantage of you i don't see any of that for you for october capricorn i i just don't i just don't see that for you you're pretty intuitive and you're pretty strong anyways but i just don't see it for this month again if you're wanting to connect with love it will be slow go slow get out there and don't rush it if you're trying to communicate for trying to get money to you it's probably going to slowly come to you but i feel like it's the beginning steps if you're trying to create a business go slow go slow go slow into the business um um anything just just be intuitive with it and allow it to come to you slow if it's coming really quick i'd question it it's kind of like that thing if it's if it sounds too good don't trust it that's that this kind of month okay also your insight it was in the love part my thing is capricorn if you're wanting to connect to your metaphysical part or if you're wanting to connect to your insight you want to be in the game you want to be in the love of of um finding who you are finding your purpose this is a good month to start looking and connecting this is a good month for capricorn to connect to their purpose uh if you're like um I'm too much in the fear of that. I don't, I'm not ready for that yet, Debbie. That's fine again, cause it's the slow month, but I feel that if you're trying to open up your third eye, you're trying to do communication, this is a good month for it. Again, it will come in slowly. It won't rush. So you'll feel secure. You'll feel safe. I get it with Capricorn. You guys kind of want to manage it and control it a little bit. So say you're, uh, say you're wanting to do a ghost hunt. Uh, I could see you connecting to spirits, but it will be slow. It won't, it, there won't be anything that you need to fear. Okay. I don't see anything fearing anybody this month. Again, I get it. There's millions of Capricorns out there and this is going to go for maybe 80% of you and the other 20, you're going to go, but Debbie, this and this happened. You know what I'm saying? But your insight is going to be really this insight, the crown chakra connecting to the other realm connecting to the other universes, other modalities is going to be really strong this month, but I feel like it's slow and it's safe. Okay. So listen to it. I would, 
I can't tell you what to do, but I'd listen to it. And if you're like, uh, I want to start doing this kind of thing, this would be a great month for it. Okay, the last stone, communication. Communication, communication, communication. It was in the throat, it's in the love. So you need to communicate. You need to tell your loved ones and yourself that you love them. You need to, um, I, I hate using the word need to, but they're saying it. You need to do the communication. If you're saying I'm doing an event, say you're doing a speaking event, it's gonna go fine. It's not gonna be like overwhelming, fantastic, but it's gonna be fine. I feel like the communication is gonna be fine. Uh, you're afraid to say something to somebody, you're gonna communicate with them, it's gonna be fine. It's not going to be really, really bad or not really, really good. The communication stone or your writing, it's gonna be fine. If you uh, doing a resume, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like it's um, your communication is gonna be it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. Not to have any worry with it. It's it's going to be it's gonna be okay. I just I just want to keep on saying it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. All right. So say you're saying oh well Debbie I need I really want to start writing a book. Say. This would be great. It's going to be okay. You're going to be fine. You're going to allow some of it in. You're not going to block any of it out. Okay? You'll hear what you need to hear, and you'll say what you need to say. That's how I need to say it. Fantastic. Spirit's like, you're not saying it the right way, still, Debbie. They don't know what you're talking about. Got it. You'll say what you need to say, and you'll hear what you need to hear this month of October for Capricorn. Fantastic. Fantastic. So you get to choose if you want to hear it or not. So... Well, I'm shuffling the card for you. I say, you know, ask a question in your mind. Um, I, I do it this way. One card will fly out or they'll tell me to pick one card. And while I'm shuffling, I will tell you I do readings, PsychicDebbie.com. If you need to get a more personal reading or do retreat work or help you find missing people or medical intuitive, PsychicDebbie.com. So let's see what they say for Capricorn. Capricorn. Let's see what the... Oh, they want me to do this. So I don't know why. I don't, I don't think that's the right one. Sorry, I'm, I'm not going to accept that one. I'm hearing from spirits, not the right one. Let me do it again. Sorry. Okay, so this is the right one. Okay. A year from now. So maybe you meet a person a year from now. Your business really gets going a year from now. You've, you're healthy, whole, and complete a year from now. Um, you're going to connect to family members a year from now. Whatever the question was that you had in your mind's eye, a year from now, right? And it doesn't, I mean, this doesn't pertain to everybody, but if it resonates with you and you're feeling good and you're like, yes, or if you're like, a year, a whole freaking year before I meet somebody, maybe there's a reason, right? Maybe there's a reason. So just connect to the card and take whatever through this whole video, take whatever resonates with you. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't, see if it happens in the future. Sometimes it happens in November, right? So a year from now, that's what Spirit wanted to tell you. Okay, well, thank you so much for letting me do this for you. I want to give you blessings and smiles. Again, I'll probably do it in November and December. And again, please subscribe, like, and comment, and watch my YouTube videos. Want a reading? PsychicDebbie.com. I want to send you blessings and smiles. Bye-bye.